Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. I'm your host, as always, Captain Ron. Today, we are going over the top. Now, I don't mean crazy. I mean, we're going over the top chili. We're gonna take our pot. We're gonna put all of our vegetables down in the pot. We're gonna take a rack, put it over here, and we're gonna take a chuck roast, season it, and set it on top. We're gonna cook this over the top of the pot of the chili. So what's happening is, as this is smoking, all those fats and juices are dripping down into the pot of chili and flavoring it. It makes for an unbelievable final product. So if you want great chili, OTT is the way to go. First thing we're gonna do, light the grill so that we can get this thing heated up and we can get started right away prep. Now, today we're gonna be using our super premium charcoal because what we're doing is we're gonna do a low and slow cook, all right? We wanna smoke this chuck roast. Granted, it's only gonna cook for about two or three hours, but we wanna use our super premium, which is much larger, larger chunks. Great for low and slow cooking. And it all starts with our Fogo fire starters and blaze of all. I love this combo because you can light it, get it going, and pour your charcoal right on top. Look at the size of those super premium chunks. The size and density make it perfect for low and slow cooking. There, now the charcoal is lit. So what we're gonna do now is start prepping all of our vegetables. We are gonna cook this indirect and I always like to heat it up everything with it. So as that grill is heating up, we're gonna put in our ceramics. I'm gonna put in our convector, let that heat up with the grill, okay? Because otherwise what happens, you get it lit, you get it to your temperature and then you put that in and it drops the temperature. So heat up your, your ceramics, heat up your grates with the grill good point for you. We're gonna start our prep work now. So we're gonna chop all our veggies and we're gonna put them right into this beautiful pot here, okay? I love this Dutch oven because this thing is absolutely grill safe. It's made of ceramic as well and it works great in the grill. First thing we're gonna start with, two cloves of garlic and it calls for the minced. Now, notice I'm not opening a jar, okay? Use fresh ingredients. It makes all the difference in the world. It's really simple. Cut off the end, smash it and peel it. And there is our jalapeno. So we're gonna dump that in there too. So now we got our onion, green pepper, and our jalapeno in there. Only one thing left to do before I actually put this in there, I'm gonna do some chili powder. I'm gonna use a bunch of it, okay? Probably about two to three tablespoons full. So I'm gonna really put it in there pretty good because I want this to cook into it as these veggies are cooking. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it around. Now, I'm not gonna do anything to it. We're just gonna set it in the grill like this while we prepare our meat. The one thing that I do wanna do is I wanna add some smoke onto our chuck roast. So I got our bourbon barrel blocks. These things are actually made from bourbon barrels that were used to age bourbon. They smell, oh my God, they smell awesome. My friend Russ calls it party in a bag. So I'm gonna take this back out for a moment. Okay, put it someplace heat safe because these are heated up. Our grill is at 250 degrees. So these beautiful gloves allow me to handle this hot stuff really well. I'm gonna put our bourbon blocks right in the center here so that they catch right away. And simply put this back in, our grate. And all we're gonna do now from here is place our open pot right on there. We're gonna let that start cooking while we prepare our meat. Again, a lot of people use ground beef for this. That's fine, if you like ground beef, hey, use that, okay? I like to have a little bit more body, a little more substance to it. So I like to use this. It's a chuck roast, it's nice and fatty. It's got tons of marbling, it's got tons of flavor. So this is beautiful just the way it is. We're just gonna pat it off and I'll show you what I'll do to it next. One of my secret ingredients that I like to use is a little bit of W sauce, okay? It's a little binder. What I do is I just put load some on here, just kind of give it a light coating, all right? It's gonna help the rub stick to it. Now, as far as rubs, you can use, you know, any variety of rubs. What I'm gonna do, I'm using a pork rub, okay? The Notorious PIG pork rub. It really works well for this. It's got a little bit of heat, it's got a little bit of sweet, and it just really gives the chili a super nice flavor. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put a light coating on here. We're not gonna cover it, we're just gonna put a light coating of this on here. And I would say we're there, we're nice and coated. This is real simple here, folks. All we're doing now, opening her up, and we're gonna take a second grate. Now I use this grate off my Mini Max. You can use any kitchen grate that you want as long as it covers the size of your pot here. We're just gonna lay it right on top of the pot, just like that. We're gonna take our meat and simply set it on there, like that, okay? And let it smoke. About an hour, maybe you can go a little longer. I like to put about an hour worth of smoke on it, cook it like that, then we'll be able to put it down in the pot, add all our tomatoes, the rest of the ingredients, and then braise it for about another two hours. It's gonna be phenomenal. Wait till you see how soft and gushy and squishy it comes. It just shreds like butter. So it's exciting stuff here, folks. Over the top chili. When the meat's done smoking, we're gonna add a bunch of stuff in here. Let's go through one by one and see what we're gonna add into our chili. 16 ounces of tomato sauce, one 28 ounce, and two 14 and a half ounce cans of fire roasted tomatoes. You can use diced or crushed. 
a half a can of tomato paste, a four ounce can of fire roasted green chilies, another splash of W sauce, a packet of chili seasoning mix, and that's all the ingredients. So let's go ahead and start opening these cans. So do you wanna know a little trick about using these can openers? Everybody wants to do it like this, right? And then go around. That's not how they were designed. Believe it or not, they're designed to go on a can like this and then take the top off. Voila. And we've been out of this for about just over an hour now and look at this. Ooh, -wee. we are ready for our next step. So we're gonna pull this off of here. Look how beautiful that looks. It already smells awesome too. Good God. But you can see the nice coloring it's getting already. It's looking at that beautiful red around the outside. So we should have a little smoke ring on it. That is absolutely beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is while I'm preparing this, okay, putting everything down into the pot, I'm gonna leave this on the smoker. So we'll just set that there to smoke while we put everything in here. But I wanna talk about this for a second. Look at how good this is. This works out so beautifully. A lot of people will take their vegetables and maybe um, saute them first or anything like that. Not me, I like to put them in there like that. Let all those fats drip down on there and you can see it's got tons of juices in here, but all these vegetables have already softened. So it kind of gave the same thing as sauteing them. Our last thing to do is to pour everything into the pot here. So we're gonna put all our tomatoes, all our sauces, everything right in. Fire roasted tomatoes, our tomato sauce. And we're gonna use about a half a can of tomato paste. So like I said, about three ounces before. So we're gonna do this. And now we just stir it all around. I'm gonna use the back of my knife. All right, so we're mixed up a little bit. Now don't forget this. This is our chili seasoning packet, okay? Yeah, I am cheating a little bit by using one, but that's, you know what? Sometimes it's just easier and better to do this. It's got all the flavors built in, but you wanna make sure it's really mixed in well. So stir this till it's all fully combined. That whole seasoning packet is all mixed in here. Just for giggles, I'm gonna add a little of leather splash W sauce. And a couple tablespoons, okay? And I'm gonna add a little more chili powder. Okay, chili powder. It's chili flavor, right? So. Stir it all in, and once it's all mixed, we're gonna add our meat back into the pot. Nice and chunky, just the way we like our chili. And notice, no beans, no beans. That means Texas style, no beans, y'all. There we go. All right, so I spill it all over myself. <laughs> Last thing to do, grab our meat off of our grill and put it right in this pot. go set it right down in there tuck it in get it nice and covered as much as you can okay because we're gonna let this sucker braise plenty of liquids oh this is gonna be unbelievable place the lid over the pot don't forget the pot is still very hot so we'll put our gloves on we're just gonna set it right back on there okay I'm gonna set my timer for about an hour and a half and we're gonna check on it. You know, when it comes to the temperature of the meat, okay, um, I cooked this for about an hour, it was about 130 degrees when I put it down into the pot. You can cook it to 160 if you want, it doesn't really matter. I go to about 130. I just wanna, the reason I do it, I wanna get that smoke on that meat first. So the temperature that it, you put it down into the pot at really doesn't matter as much. I did it at 130, you can go higher if you want, smoke it for longer, but really for that first hour is about, about as much smoke as I wanna get on it. So mission accomplished. Oh, oh, sorry, hey. Oh, okay, well here we are three hours later and it's finally ready to be pulled. So let's check this out. Oh yeah, if you could smell this, you would be drooling right now. It smells incredible. All right. Oh yeah, and it's heavy too, woo! All right, all right, all right. Look at that. Let's see what we've got. Ta-da! Look how beautiful, bubbling action. Now for our next step, to pull the meat out and shred this meat. So I'm gonna see if I can grab it here. It's really falling apart. Okay, take all the meat out. It's really falling apart. Wow, God, like I said, I wish that you could smell this, boy. If I could bottle and sell this smell, man, we'd be, uh, we'd be doing A-OK. -okay. We are dealing with very hot meat. So when we shred it, we don't wanna burn our hands. Here's a little secret for you. Put some cotton gloves underneath your rubber gloves, and you can do this with no problem. You wanna know the best part? We sell both of these. There's a link down below in the description. Just like anything that you saw us using here, the pot, the tongs, everything, there's a link below. 
where you can find all of this stuff. Check it out, shop it, see if it's something for you. Now, let's shred this meat. Look how beautiful it is. It's nice and tender and then, oh yeah. <laughs> Just the way it's supposed to work. I love it, look at that. Perfect, it's got a gorgeous smoke ring around it. Oh, it smells so good. It smells absolutely incredible, okay? So over the top chili with a chuck roast, looking like a winner, looking like a winner. Winner, winner, chili dinner, baby. Now, once it's all shredded, we take it and we drop it right back in the pot. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. It is just steaming hot, steaming hot. Now we got it back in there, we're just gonna stir it all in. God, it smells incredible, it looks delicious. I know it's gonna taste delicious, okay? So this is our Texas over the top, no beans, smoked chuck roast chili. Woo, that's gonna be a long title. The only one thing left to do now, folks, bowl some up and test it out. Let me go grab a bowl. Like that. And the best part, this is the secret ingredient, all right? Fritos. Take some Fritos, get a handful of them and crush them up and just pour them right over the top. All right, guys, now this is just unbelievable. I put some sour cream, some cheese, some Fritos. I love the Fritos on my chili. I don't care what anybody says. It's delicious, you gotta try it. You know what? You know what time it is. It's my favorite time of the whole entire video when I get to try out the masterpiece we've created. Look at that, meat dripping, cheese dripping goodness. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, who's your daddy? You're a chili. Wow, it made me weak in the knees. Oh my God, is that good? The smoked chuck roast is unbelievable in there. I'm telling you, that might be one of the better chilies I've ever made. Uh, th that is so good, so good. No beans chili over the top, baby. That's it. So if you're looking for something really good and comforting and warming, this is the dish for you to make. It is outstanding. The great combination of the flavors, the peppers in there, the onions, it's all just comes together and melts together so beautifully. Comfort food at its finest, baby. So remember to get out and grill. I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. And you know what time it is? Captain Ron.